Let's check this out. Test. Yep. We're there. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well on this July 27th, and it's 7 a.m., almost 7 a.m. in the morning for me on uh, Pacific Time, West Coast, uh, United States, Canada. And I'm just going to set up here. And this is an unannounced live stream. I'm just going to pop out the chat. Uh, it's time to harvest... Uh, some more goodies from our patio garden and uh, I thought uh, maybe we'd do it together again okay we did one of these uh, maybe two of these we were harvesting some uh, herbs and stuff uh, from the garden and uh, I just sent out notifications uh, Speedy Gonzalez style uh, to people just to let them know uh, through the network that we're about to go live Rendell, how are you doing ah thank you very much for tier one sub <laughs> first person popping in is a tier one sub right on Rendell. <laughs> thank you thank you how do you like the garden the grapes are growing and super nice we're gonna harvest some grapes today we're gonna harvest some mints probably harvest some uh, lettuce as well okay they came quickly they came quickly <laughs> oh my god says <laughs> nice it's a nice morning here gang it's uh, it, the temperatures kicked up a lot uh, where I am. It's gotten a lot hotter, so um, it's nice. The greens, it's, it's becoming really lush here on our patio, like crazy lush. We've got tomatoes kicking in. <laughs> Great lasagna, how are you doing? And angered, how's life? Good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. We did on the weekend. We did insane amount of uh, pickling. My partner did most of the pickling. We still have another batch that we have to uh, can, or she has to can. So we did uh, like three different t styles of pickling. Uh, we pickled uh, cucumber, uh, carrots, uh, cabbage. Uh, well, there's dill. There's garlic. There was. Uh, what was the other stuff? Uh, beans. There's a few other things we put in there. Nate, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. I was uh, hoping to get a to get a stream in on the weekend, but we just couldn't do it. It was too busy for us. Uh, and we had family visiting with a couple of kids. One one year old and another three and a half year old. They're a handful. I don't know if you guys have kids, but wow, they're a handful. Right? They go crazy, they go crazy. Should we do some harvesting? Should we get to the business? Uncharted is good morning, good day from the UK. Interesting stuff going on in the UK, eh? <laughs> Elder God uh, posted a couple of, uh, couple of articles uh, from the UK. One guy for the mandatory uh, mask wearing wore his mask and nothing else and he wore his mask on his manlyhood <laughs> walking around naked <laughs> funny uh nate chicho i need some words of comfort advice i have my third attempt at my driving test coming up anxiety and stress seem to get the best of me any words of wisdom uh just chill with it man uh, take your time be cautious uh, because that's what they're looking for but don't don't be too cautious just just realize that the car is an extension of yourself right and the more practice you get on driving the better you'll be right so it's just a matter of practice and getting into that comfort zone and before you go doing a driving test do not play driving video games for at least a week or two weeks because <laughs> driving a car is not the same as driving in a video game right so those video game driving things people might like doing before they go driving is totally different do not play driving video games before you write your driving or go for your driving test x how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, aside from that just chill with it man they they want to give you a license the government makes a lot of money by handing out driver's licenses to people 
okay from gas from the driver's license fees from tickets from parking and all that jazz right so just realize that that they're not your enemy they want to give you a driver's license they just have to have to make sure you're safe on the road be respectful to other cars and realize there's a there's some a-holes on the road okay there are people that are angry on the road so just be aware of that right am i too late we just started void we just started dr p greetings blessings crafter hello how are you doing for sorry for the caps no worries i've done that a lot myself nate meditate meditate is good visualize is a great idea rendell is recommending uh, so meditate visualize do anything to make yourself calm and collective yeah yeah a slow test is better than failing quickly agreed agreed take your time even if it feels ridiculous take your time even if it feels as soon as you sit in the car you adjust you check your mirrors first thing you do you sit in the car make sure you're okay check this mirror check that mirror check that mirror you don't do those you fail instantly right so first thing you do you check your mirrors when you're driving both hands on the wheel right when you're doing a test in real life personally myself I usually don't drive with both hands on the wheels um, I'm a lounger right but when you're driving a test both hands on the wheel okay hello from Australia notorious vein C been a fan of YouTube for a while finally caught a stream hope you're doing well thank you very much doing well and welcome to our live stream or another live stream glad you could make it Randall gifted five tier one subs to the community wow Randall that's a lot of tier one subs tier one subs to crafter great lasagna mix silva goat 23 James and Tony the tiger how are you guys doing thank you very much Randall for the tier one subs my grand uh, grandma never had to test her driving skills theory to get hers never had to test it oh grandmother yeah I think they just gave it out then you buy a car you drive maybe <laughs> thank you very much teacher feeling better already awesome awesome drive like you're a granny drive like you're a granny mix Silva it really is all down to time practice and focus I learned how to drive through uh, uh, karting and simulators and transferred that uh, I had two lessons before my instructor said there's no point of this just do your test haha <laughs> oh really so simulators were good for you cool 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 simulator is different than Grand Theft Auto <laughs> the man the legends that says fun thank you. thank you for the subscription crafter says wow thank you uh, great lasagna says mix Silva thank you says and anger the true gentleman the true gentleman starsky hey you doing chicho how you doing chicho doing well doing well thank you very much gang uh let's get to harvesting gang let's get some uh, harvest going first thing i want to do one of the reasons i'm doing this right now is because i want to get some of the grapes harvested because the raw grapes are the ones we're using to make our dolmas and some of the other recipes right so i want to harvest some of those they're they're basically ready so I'm gonna to get to harvesting. I hope uh, I hope you guys are having a nice chill day. Um, and who's writing a driving test? An anger is right. Uh, no, an anger. Rendell is no. Who's writing a driver's test? I forget who's writing a driver's test. Oh, Nate is driving or uh, writing a driver's test. Nate, I hope this chills you down. You relax. Uh, appreciate it. I have a motorcycle license, but no car license. Elder God, I got my issues with motorcycles in my area anyway. People here are crappy drivers. They don't respect motorcycles. The most dangerous thing if you're driving a, and Elder God will tell you this, right? The most dangerous thing when you're riding a motorbike on the road is other cars. It's not you. It, the wildlife could be depending on where you're driving, but it's other cars. You have to treat, you have to be completely defensive or go full on. Uh, like really uh, it's other cars and I realized I found out one of the reasons I used to 
dislike Harleys a lot motorbikes that are loud but then I found out why there are certain motorbikes that are loud is to let other cars know that there's a bike around because cars don't pay attention to motor motorbikes right yeah you have to be totally aware of your environment if you're riding a motorbike and if you're driving a car pay attention look out for motorbikes really don't f around okay you're not you're there are people's lives at risk okay so be aware of motorbikes i'm studying my theory exam nice yo chicho starsky i just got a new job right on marketing internship nice nice so i'm enjoying a good uh, sativa <laughs> so i'm trying to do this. what are you harvesting today let me show you guys let me show you guys i've seen a few john wicks on the road in my day i guess uh they learned to ride their bikes aggressive due to past experience yeah yeah i see but those people one mistake kills them right so be aware be aware again riding a cbr uh, 100 o biggest sports bike people on phone are terrified good <laughs> good and by the way i'm letting you guys know this because my brother uh passed away in a motorbike accident just so you guys know i know what it means right and it was the mistake of another car so be aware okay i had a moped for two weeks before i came off it in the rain smashed into uh, bits didn't touch it again lesson learned have you ever done any recreational narcotics Chicho? <laughs> sorry for the loss bro it's it is what it is man that is life right uh, life is unforgiving gang be aware be healthy know the risks that you're taking live with them period end of story no excuses no nothing good morning ripper how are you doing let's harvest let's harvest is this gonna fit in here it's not gonna fit in here so let me bring this guy here let's put this guy here Hopefully the sun is not going to bug us this time. If it does, I'll bring off the thing again. So let me show you what the first thing is we're going to harvest. We're going to harvest some raw grapes, right? Because we use that in our food, okay? We use that in our food. Um, let's do this. And we're going to harvest it. There's some grapes going around the side of this barrier that I've put out, right? So they're growing on the other side. I need to get those. Actually, let's put this here. Okay, I gotta get in here. This is what we're harvesting right these are the guys that we uh, put into the food the dolma so I'm just gonna put these in here with the and they're very like they fall down right and we've had a lot of windy days here so they don't look as lush they're not bad but they don't look as lush as they they did because the wind when these things were growing when they were like little guys like this let me show you when they're little guys like this they were falling off but this size is a good size for us to start um, including in the food so I'm gonna harvest a bunch of these guys okay
whole bunch growing here, like these guys. But these guys aren't ready. Some of these guys aren't all. some growing on the other side of that, I'll grab that stuff. Later. Right? Oh, there's a bumblebee. Come on. The bumblebees uh, love our tomatoes. Right? So that's pretty good. We're gonna get some more as well. Come on. Come on, say hi to the game. Some of these aren't ready yet, so I'm leaving them alone, we'll grab later. And then some of them we're gonna allow to ripen a lot. Right. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat too much, gang. Welcome everyone, by the way. Let me put on my glasses, let's see what's going on. Chicho, talking to the bees, the wholesome content. I didn't know I needed. Grapes harvesting, grapes harvesting. Bumblebees are amazing gang, really. Bumblebees are some of the coolest things there are. They're like fluffy little round things that go And they're so chill man. And they, they uh, what do you call it? They help you acquire food, like all bees, right? All bees. I talk to bees and I'll worry about it. <laughs> My being allergic. I'm gonna uh, allow. Boop. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Automod doesn't like some words, Ripper. <laughs> I'm not being impersonation. <laughs> I've been around bumblebees long enough. Chicho, unscheduled is a bonus. We accept all uh, regulatory changes. Nice. Pollinators, pollinators extraordinaire. So that's what Cheryl says, 100%, 100%.
Oh, we got some nice ones here. I'm gonna grab these ones over here. Okay. and grape slowly. This is enough the enough of the grapes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take these off later on, wash them, and put them in the freezer. So these guys, we keep in the freezer, and we use as needed when we do the cooking. Okay. So, and I'll be doing more of this later on, right? We wanna acquire, and there's a whole roll of this stuff, the grapes going down our, uh, uh, our steps here so I'll harvest those at another time because we use a lot of these in our food uh, they go amazing with chicken uh, with lamb with meats and stuff and of course they go great in one of the main ingredients we're using in our dolmas as uh, you saw when we, did, when we did the cooking right so let's put this guy here what else should we get we're gonna get some of this stuff okay this is I'm just going to take these down and uh, if you're following uh, some of the you know I posted uh, a pic yesterday on uh, the the pickles that we made right and that shelving that you see I built that uh, about three weeks ago right because I knew we were going to start making uh, pickles and just different preserves and stuff and the shelving I also put a string uh, if you see the original picture the first picture that shows everything there is uh, some herbs basically drying so I'm gonna harvest some herbs right now and the string set up so I'm gonna hang those herbs on that string for them to dry right so we're gonna harvest some mint I'm gonna harvest this thing I forget what it's called it's tastes like licorice okay it's very yummy and it's got a nice strong flavor to it It's really good. It's amazing, really. And we're going to use this in teas. So we're going to hang this to dry as well. Okay? So, um, I'm just going to take it down. I'm going to go get a sort of a flat thing just to put it in. Actually, no, I'm just going to take it down and just going to leave it here. Let's do that. And it's got flowers on it too. Take a look. Oh, I should have kept some of this. There's flowers coming up, but these are the flowers on it, right? I don't know what these are called. Cheryl might know this. Cheryl, do you know what these are called? Or anyone else? Dr. P? I don't know. I should have left some of it. I didn't notice there were flowers growing on this one. Put this on the grapes. Take it down from here. Wow. 
household of flowers. That's good enough. We'll leave some of, uh, some of them that still grow. So we're just gonna hang this like this and let it flower. Hyssop, that's what it is, hyssop. Excellent. Smith, you knew what it was. With those flowers, it's definitely uh, anise hyssop, hyssop. Anise, anise hyssop, that's what it is, gang. You guys know, nice, nice. Thanks, Cheryl, thanks, Smith. Surprise morning stream. Coolio, how are you doing? at work but won't miss this one haha <laughs> new schedule releasing new schedule releasing today I still have to sort of sort it out for myself but uh, I'll release it today for sure and I'm gonna release uh, uh, our personal finance live stream we did earlier in the month on July 13th or something I'm gonna release that today I'm behind schedule again <laughs> when I worked in IT I was a nice Sisop, Sisop. Okay, so we got that guy. We're gonna harvest some mint. We always need mint. And I'm gonna start drawing some of the mint, hanging it and drying it, okay? destroyed spider's web so So slowly over the summer, I'm just going to harvest dry mint and just hang them like this and slowly start jarring them, right? Instead of doing uh, a huge batch in one shot. As you do this, you sort of weed as you're going, right?
all the construction people trucks they're all moving around now right Jabba hey yep it's me mint yeah never kill a spider I love spiders giving a spider impression spider impression I have to suck your blood <laughs> <laughs> do you, no, I do other impressions, but uh, spiders, spiders, it all depends on the spiders, the hunters, the jumpers, they're awesome. Kraken, how are you doing? I have potatoes in my garden, nice, that I'm looking forward to harvesting in about a month, nice, nice. Is it jet landing? No, that was a truck. There's like trucks and stuff going around in the mornings. Uh, trying to get to where the construction is right and for some reason uh, well not for some reason they've closed off the main road just down the street from us so there's a lot of cars using our road to bypass the closure of the road so we're starting to get a little bit of traffic until they finish the work there right it's early morning here Ezekiel it's early early morning it's uh what time is it now 7 30 ish probably 7 30. Right. yeah ripper nice thanks canada so big as tomorrow <laughs> in some parts <laughs> russia is much bigger coolio chisho did you know that they've uh, done studies and different types of music can stimulate plant growth yeah i've heard about that and talking to your plants is good right I think classical music was the most efficient. Was it? It's not death metal. <laughs> West Kills Canada is the only place to be. It's nice here. It really is. What are the three movies that were picked? I missed the stream. There were four movies actually, Ripper. We had a three way tie for second, third, and fourth. Uh, there will be blood, taxi driver in. In Bruges and uh, and uh, and 2001 Space Odyssey <laughs> Russia so big it's still 1955 in some parts <laughs> I've always wondered that. how is Russia so big huge because it can't be conquered a nice bunch right so that's good for the mint and we definitely wash these wash and then lay out to dry spin to dry and then we hang them to fully dry right coolio thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it chicho's plants are fed an ex exclusive diet of sunlight water and system of a down <laughs> oh, fun yeah it is in in bruges is amazing it was one it's and it was one of the best surprises in movies i've had uh, one of the top one of the top fantastic movie fantastic movie what else should we harvest let's harvest some uh, lettuce butter lettuce as well they've grown back a little bit right so let's harvest some buttered lettuce
don't need this. I'm just gonna do it with my hands. I'm just gonna harvest one leaf at a time, right? We got some hamburgers uh, Oops. we did up uh, a couple of days ago, so these are great in sandwiches. Actually, it would be great in a salad. It would be better in a salad, I think. But sandwiches too, lettuce. And that's again for one pot, right? Julio, Chicho, by the way, my emergency plan, if shit hits the fan in the U.S. is to go to Canadian wilderness <laughs> and grow and or hunt for all of my food. <laughs> I think it's okay. You can find farms to buy the food at, brother. And us Canadians, we're pretty welcoming, so... You're welcome to come. Butter lettuce. Butter lettuce in the sun. Uh oh. The sun is shining. Hopefully we won't hit the camera if it does I'll fix it up look at this one wow look at the big leaves on this guy those ones that are smaller leaves we put too many of them together right so next time we're gonna put not so many in the same pot look at these leaves so good
serious haircut on this one. Where's my cannabis plants? Over there. In Canada, we're allowed to grow. If you're in the Vancouver area, you can find a few uh, Starbucks growing in the wild. <laughs> Usually like three of them in the same corner. This will make amazing salad. Wow. Here's the lettuce we got. Take a look. Fantastic. Just so good. Huh? Look at this. Awesome. Good flies. Not for flies. Locke, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. What else? Take down some of these uh, greens here. Uh, they're like um, I don't know if they're chives or like green. They're onion family. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Take some of these. Smells amazing. I forget what these are called. Uh, they're not green onions, but they're green onion family. Wash these, chop them up, fry them up with uh, mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, chives. I think they're just called chives, right? Yeah, chives. So chives, 
just we're gonna give them a wash chop up a whole bunch like small fry them up in a in a pan with uh, shiitake mushrooms and eggs fry up eggs oh my god and potatoes of course right green garlic oh chives are so good so good so good yeah there must be chives right very good let's put the chives in this one. Some basil on my takedown. Tomatoes aren't ready. Let's get some arugula. Here, let's put the chives in here. So we can put the arugula. Supper. And arugula, we want to get the flower, cut the flower, so that way uh, they don't bolt, and you don't. It doesn't make the the greens bitter, right? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut down the flower parts. You can still eat them as well, right? So it's okay. That way you get more life out of this. I'm just going to harvest some of the greens leaves as well. It's good for salad. And it's good for cuckoo. Very good for cuckoo. haircut give it a nice haircut so that's good nice salad We got some uh, Italian parsley. I'm just gonna grab some of that as well. Let me put it, bring it up so you see it. Some Italian parsley. You want to leave a little bit so it's still gets us nutrients this little guy isn't doing that good we've got four four of them here planted here okay this one I think is further back it's not getting enough sun but that's good enough Nice fresh Italian parsley. Let's put this guy on top of the lettuce. Distinguish it. What else? What else? These things 
are edible, they're nice. These are sunflowers. We got sunflower here and we got a sunflower here. These are both sunflowers. Let me get some uh, let me get some basil from this. Not too much because basil doesn't, you know, once you harvest it, you have to eat it fairly quickly, right? So just a little bit of basil. Amazing in salads. Amazing on pizza. Oh, wow. Let's trim down this basil as well a little bit and at some point we're going to put these into bigger pots the basils because I think basil will grow all year not as much but just a little bit just a handful give them a little bit of trim Some more uh, lettuce and bait, uh, parsley over there that I might get later. Probably harvest those maybe tomorrow. And I should be taking down some more grape leaves as well uh, to freeze so we can make more cookie. One lonely gooseberry. <laughs> nice. Gooseberry. Uh, we also have cucumbers growing we got squash growing we got lots of lots of tomatoes um, the raspberry really needs to be in the ground we have a raspberry bush but it grows and if it can't grow anymore it just stops growing so raspberry we have to put in the yard uh, but I think we're gonna take it to a family's place and put it in the yard there fun nice morning harvest gang Nice morning harvest. I hope you guys are growing food. And if you're not, uh, start growing food. Just a little bit. Like just, 
you know, I think it was Nate that said just he was going to write a driving test and reduce the anxiety and stuff like this. There's nothing like coming outside in your little garden that you may have. Just do, do a little bit of weeding, harvest some fruit, some veggies, some greens, herbs, and just take it, just give it a little wipe and wash and just eat it right off the greens, right? It, it's meditative, it's amazing. And there's absolutely nothing like starting off with a little plant like this, right? And watching it grow like this tall and give food for you to eat. Like just a little bit of nurturing and that's what you get. Wow, absolutely amazing. But I have 10 dogs in my house, right? 10 dogs, jeepers. Chicho, uh, Kudia says, Chicho, if I help tend to your garden and clean up your house every day, can I come and live in your couch? <laughs> Seems a lot more peaceful than where I am right now. A lot of places, brother. But look, uh, you can't, peacefulness is not external. It really isn't external. You could be living in chaos and be at peace, or you could be in nature and internally be chaos i realize you're joking around and i realize in the united states it's chaotic right now but that is that has been the case in many parts of the world uh, for a long time right and some of the most peaceful people i've ever met in my life uh, they grew up in chaos so and we only have one bathroom here so <laughs> guess what is it uh, there's a saying that says uh, uh, after uh, guests are like fish after three days they start stinking <laughs> something like that mix silver tastes so much better too so much better so much healthier All right especially with the care and sense of achievement afterwards yeah it's a reward right I agree with the setup coolio my grandfather used to have a killer vegetable garden he would always grow far more than he needed and give us the extras those cucumbers were uh, phenomenal yeah and you know what once you grow once you have a vegetable garden there's you're gonna the garden is gonna provide more than you need it really is like most gardens I've seen people growing they share they have to share like you can't you can't eat everything look look at the grapes we have like for sure we can eat a lot of these but we're not going to eat grapes for lunch breakfast and breakfast lunch and dinner right have i ever visited southeast asia uh south southeast no i haven't i haven't I can't I come from an Asian Asian country from Iran but uh, that's Western Asian right uh, but I've never been I planned on going but it never happened Cheryl Chicho uh, let's uh, and let's find out had a great oh let's find out ASMR are you here that's cool had a great question do you use the same soil for all the plants I'm curious um, we use three different types of soil we used uh, gardening soil we used booster soil and we used um, uh, sea soil right so this year what we did was I, it was a lot of work like I did a lot of lifting and moving soil I we re uh, with all the pots that we have we emptied the old old soil put it in the yard just distributed it in the yard this bumble is that a bumblebee <laughs> what is going crazy we distributed it in the yard right emptied it all out there just flattened it and we brought in brand new soil into all the pots so I think I got a couple hundred more than that uh, of soil like to probably about uh, about 200 pot 200 pounds 150 pounds or 200 pounds of just regular potting soil about a hundred or 150 pounds of uh, booster soil and and all of it organic by the way all of it organic and we had about a hundred pounds of uh, 
uh, there's there's the one bit come here uh, we had about 100 120 pounds 140 pounds of sea soil that just repotted everything I, I might be overestimating that a little bit okay let's find out how are you doing I can't wait until you start live streaming on Twitch <laughs> by the way thank you very much for uh, the support and the love let's find out has a larger following than me on YouTube big time right so he mentioned to his audience that he was watching one of our uh, I think it was the liqueur video or something and a whole bunch of people from his his side of the world came over to ours and they like what we we're doing so that's fantastic thank you for the love brother I haven't made my own soil yet I plan on it I don't have the setup to make my own soil uh, th there's two things I want to do I want to make my own soil and I want to have worm juice set up so I want to have the pot set up um, like wooden pots with soil with worm in them put them on a slant right and then have a drainage system at the bottom and then whenever I want to feed the plants pour water on top of that soil and collect the juice and feed worm juice to the plants I've heard it's amazing and I've known some people that do that so I haven't got got it set up yet but I will at some point um, I will at some point I'll bring sure I'll bring my bat bass and banjo jams nice my pleasure my pleasure man uh, Chicho serious question for a change how do you learn so much about gardening uh, are there resources you use to learn how to raise multiple plants or do you learn more about I'm more trial and error I think the best way to learn is to do uh, the the only plant that I really looked into how to grow properly because I kept on killing it that's the first really plant that I started growing uh, trying to get a green thumb with salvia divinorum uh, it's extremely difficult to grow or extremely difficult to grow <laughs> so once I learned that how to grow salvia divinorum uh, 20 years ago I did this I started growing more more plants and before that actually i i grew i had cacti i had a lot of cacti so i had i have one cactus here which is huge it's like 40 years old uh, so i started with cactus believe it or not i think a lot of people do and once you grow cactus it grows really slowly once you go to greens and herbs and flowers it's a different game but it makes the transition easier dingleberries no I have uh, we have black currant we have raspberries we have strawberries uh, we have gooseberries we got four berries here gooseberry raspberry black currant and uh, strawberry I want to grow blueberries as well For, uh, making soil John um, what you do you have your uh, we do have a what do you call it the compost area you take your compost your food leftovers and you can um, I forget what the process is you put lime you put food you put uh, you can put hay or different types of soil and layer it and then it produces heat and slowly it turns into soil and it's like food right I have to look into that uh, making my own soil let's find out do you grow uh, do you make your own soil let's find out says no problem at all brother I love the positivity to project and all your content. Yeah, I try to uh, you know we get into politics stuff is sometimes negative but even the negative is positive once you know the bad you know what good is right you can't know good without knowing what bad is uh, it's like you don't you know I said this before but in general only insane people are happy all the time you have to have all of us you have to have your down days right you have to feel sad to be to appreciate the happy and they're both emotions we have to experience all emotions right but positivity is huge you have to dig yourself out of holes you do you do you do right the soil need to be moist 24 7 uh, not necessarily I don't think so 
it does uh, some of the nutrients in it die out but I think it rejuvenates back again what's really cool Chicho is if you ever have the space they make some something called keyhole gardens when you put a three inch high garden box with a with a, an inside keyhole in the middle where you put your leftover banana peel and such oh I never heard about this Brooks oh so in the middle so that de decomposes and feeds the rest yeah that'd be cool that'd be super cool this too shall pass dragon says oh Cheryl seconds it keyhole gardens are awesome oh I gotta look into this where you put a three inch high garden on a box okay with an inside keyhole in the middle where you put your uh, leftover banana peels and such okay so in the middle you're making soil and the roots go towards the food so it grows oh that's good I like that um, but if next year I'll try to do if I remember would be great if soil was as easy as compost yeah they would be but all you need to do is mix it around and you need worms worms if you have worms in your soil you have good soil I've had a few down days in the last week but streams like this and those words of advice have far more than you know thank you to my pleasure Coolio. I've had look man the only reason I know this is because I've had horrendous horrendous down times in my life right life knocks you silly sometimes and you got to lift yourself up and sometimes it takes months sometimes it takes years to dig yourself out of a hole man I <laughs> call it elder god <laughs> I think the key old gardens you are you thinking about what, what I initially thought about that's why I paused a little bit when I'm reading it I thought it was more of a uh, a troll action going on but Cheryl seconded it so yes make smaller ones as well though regarding so soil moisture it totally depends on the plant it totally depends on the plant uh, some of the plants it's really good to stress them out a little bit before they fruit like uh, before the flowers kick in right I know cannabis you know when it's growing it does need water on a regular basis but it's flowering sometimes you want the soil to dry out stress it out a little bit and the flowers kick in harder I believe okay someone posted a video on discord awesome Randall you had a bad day unfortunately a lot of people man that's why it's, it's good to do these things I mean look at this it's just look I have grape leaves garden and by the way our patio our patio is on the larger side for sure because but you know we live in a sort of a suburb area so they give you large patios right but we've loaded it up with plants I don't know how many plants we got here should we do a count let me do a quick count one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 46 47 48 48 uh, 49 we've got about 50 50 plants here right from small to large uh, oh no more up here 50 more than 50 and this is just on the patio <laughs> right inside you've seen some of the inside a lot of plants there right it is what it is it keeps it helps us stay sane okay just to let you know and seriously what's amazing like what could be more amazing than sitting in your garden patio when a bumblebee comes along <laughs> <laughs> like seriously it's just you watch a bumblebee just do his thing you're like oh man life is sweet chill right 
You can actually bend snap branches while growing THC to encourage it to grow even larger buds. That's pretty advanced growing though. Yeah, one thing you can do with cannabis, as soon as you see your plants uh, starting to flower, you trim the bottom part of the of the plant, right? Get rid of all the bottom leaves, right? Uh, the branches. So basically, it looks like a fraggle, right? Uh, you'll have the stem and all the most of the flowers will be up top the leaves will be up top right so you're trimming all the bottom guys and what happens is the nutrients go up to the top right encourage the plant to send more nutrients up yeah that exactly brooks uh, and I've done that before and it's really good and you can if you want you can keep one or two of the plants to have the buds in the bottom but you get little buds in the bottom and the bigger buds up top so the little buds in the bottom they're okay for making butter and uh, shake and stuff like this but what you can do is just trim that and send all those nutrients to the top and make sure you give support to your plants right like tomatoes need support you can see you know I built uh, put basically tripod three three branches coming up you tie them up top and it gives support All right I'm only at home one weeks and have a small balcony so growing stuff is oh yeah one way you can do Randall by the way if you're going away if you have a small you can't do that with every plant but if you have a small garden if you're going away you're worried about plants getting enough water do a double pot plant right uh, basically have your plants in a pot and in the bottom of it put that in a container that doesn't have a hole so it can hold water and over water it and you have a layer of water in the bottom container right and the pot sitting on top now don't let the pot sit in the water pot sitting up top and the roots will seek out the water and you can leave that for a few days right a fraggle as in fraggle rock as in fraggle rock smith fraggle rock gang rocks it's awesome it's one of the uh treasures of a tv series that came out in the 90s i don't know if it came out in the 80s or not fraggle rock was amazing the fraggles are some of the best my neighbor has four huge plants that i can see from my upstairs window if last summer was any tell once they start flowering it will smell in my backyard all august nice <laughs> i'm trying to keep my uh five house plants alive let alone grow them bigger haha <laughs> neat my mother's been getting into bird watching nice and has a bird bath nice nice and you can make bee baths as well by the way uh and multiple bird houses in the backyard uh, that have attracted numerous varieties of birds and she enjoys sitting on the patio or on the kitchen window while cooking and just watching them awesome coolio that's fantastic man well, let's find out i've tried to compost uh, compost and grow some small herbs but it was um, inconvenient to access with the house uh, i need to build a raised box on my patio now that i can just put a hose back there uh, it is a peaceful experience to create, grow, harvest your own food. Indeed, indeed. Trimming, trimming the lower flowers, Catholic traditionalists, uh, is called suck, suckering, by the way. Important to do with tomatoes as well. Oh, with tomatoes as well. I should do that with tomatoes. Oh, really, Catholic traditionalist. Oh, cool. Thanks for the heads up, man. I'm going to do that with tomatoes then. Uh, it's called suckering suckering cool oh I didn't realize I should have guessed it should be done with tomatoes as well we have tomatoes already growing so that's good uh, you know what I might start getting at it uh, today possibly a pub owner mix of a pub owner near me used the used the games rooms in the back to grow weed 
I cycled past it on the way to school years ago. It was such a shame when he got caught. Oh, it was the perfect start to my day. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Deep phase, Chicho, have you ever used bubble hash bags? Yeah, yeah. I bought some recently and I'm uh, getting great product uh, out of uh, what was once waste. Yeah, and bubble hash is basically you, uh, are you using ice as well? Uh, deep phase, uh, 420, are you using ice? Because what you do, you, uh, you create mesh. It's like basically mesh, I haven't done it for, long time like 15 years I haven't done it right but you get meshes and you you swirl around or you shake it up I forget what it was it was no you think you spin it I think there's different systems yeah you use ice and basically the ice cools down the uh, and you do it with shake by the way when you're trimming uh, the cannabis uh, you trim the plants and all the shake you take and you put it into container and you spin it and you use sieves and all the crystals sort of gather onto the sieve and then you scrape off the sieve and you got your uh, bubble hash and you're not using chemicals or anything it's a pretty good system it's a pretty good system there's some near five gallon bucket systems that might work for a patio compost system that or worm composting may be a good option worm composting i gotta do that let's find out if you pr try some stuff and it works let us know because uh, i'd like to try it out in my garden for next year set up a special location for it uh, i have enough knowledge of electronics and simple circuits that I could probably rig a system to water plants when you're not home pretty easy we just need to have a, a reserve a reservoir of water and a tubing system to administer the water attached to a timer or remote control cool yeah we have to see next year I think just because now we have a really good idea of what we can grow here next year I think I'm gonna set up some kind of uh, nice watering system possibly but I don't mind watering by hand. It takes me, right now, it's taking me about an hour to water the plants. Uh, anywhere between half an hour, depending on how much, how hot it is, anywhere between half an hour to an hour and a half to water all the plants on the patio and inside. Probably an hour and a half, I'll put the inside ones as well. Which is good exercise, right? Chicho has stamped with the image of search. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ding Bobber says. <laughs> Oh fun, oh fun. How long have we been at this game? Up time. Up time. Psh. Nice. Hour and 20 minute harvesting morning stream. I love it. I love it. Gang, should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. We got our plants. I gotta go wash these things and set them up to dry and then hang them. And I'm gonna release our economics video we did like three weeks ago uh, today. Okay and i'll definitely announce uh, our schedule later on today i'll sort it out okay i'm not sure if i'm going to do a premiere on youtube if i do a premiere uh, i might hang around for a bit i might not uh, it depends i still have to go through it and put the highlights i'm not 100 percent sure what we talked about it was like three weeks ago so i go to go through it speedy gonzalez style okay i made a little herb garden on a shoe rack in my kitchen it looks super cool and great for cooking awesome mix over well if we if when I make it to Albania I'm going to make friends by starting a community garden somewhere and sharing the produce with the community awesome awesome Chicho late L stream live stream please a late one yeah okay i'm gonna set the the odds are we're gonna do just to let you know when is it wednesday today is monday yeah we're gonna do most likely wednesday during the day and then thursday and friday at night okay um and then i'll see what i can do from there on i gotta check my with my partner on our schedule so many questions nice happy su surprise you show it is nice to do i like this 
Graham, how are you doing? Yay! Yay! Late streams are better for me as well, especially weekend ones. Okay, and the Coolio late stream, yeah, it will be for our time, would be uh, what do you call it? Late evening, right? For Elder Gods, it'd be like early morning. But I think Elder God, you're back into full production, so you're working late into the uh, into early mornings, right? So uh, then it should work out for you as well. Take care, everyone. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. And just uh, for those that are new here um, and whatnot, are going to be watching this on another another platform, either BitChute or YouTube. Uh, I am on Patreon if you want to support this work. Patreon is a great way to do so over here. <laughs> Patreon.com backslash Chicho, C H Y C H O. Uh, we are live streaming this on Twitch. If you want to participate in these live streams, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay, that's where we're doing our live streams. Uh, we're not gonna, we don't, I don't, wanna, I don't have any plans to do live streams anywhere else uh, right now. Okay, uh, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live or a few minutes before we go live on schedule on Twitter, Gaz, Minds, VK, LO, and Parlor. Uh, I didn't do it on Parlor on this one. I don't have the link on this computer. A lot of audio will be, will be uploading to soundcloud.com backslash chicho. Okay, this one most likely not. Maybe in the future when I'm in retirement, I'll go back and pull out the audios for all of these and load them up uh, with the seagulls singing. And... Uh, we will be uploading this video to BitChute and YouTube. And you, know, if you are on YouTube and BitChute, you can share, you can like. That's one way to support this work, participate in discussions, chat. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this uh, work through YouTube membership. Aside from that, gang, uh, thank you very much for being here. Um, thank you for gifting all the subs, uh, Randall. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, I think everybody that got uh, subs gifted very much appreciated it gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if I didn't catch them um, just doing the harvesting and whatnot and I try to stay up with the chat and uh, I'll announce the next set of live streams later today and we'll be uploading a video today to YouTube and BitChute hope you guys have a fantastic start to your uh, week gang bye everyone